I got my confidence back. I don't mind just throwing on like a little uh, mascara and a little concealer and running out the door. Whereas a few months ago, I was putting on a full face of makeup to go to the grocery store or just to go get gas because I was petrified. Like I would wake up with a mountain all over my face, like a mountain. And there's just no need for us to live our lives and worry about acne when there's so many other things to worry about. Like you know, like job and work and money and family. I mean, there's like so many things and bills and like it all like piles up. So I think acne, that's one thing you can control and like you should control. Like we shouldn't have to worry about that. We shouldn't have to worry about acne. And so hopefully this video helps someone out there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Johanna and today I'm going to tell you guys about my acne journey. Um, I know acne can kind of be a touchy subject but I feel like people, um, it's really like an insecurity you know. People don't really, people want to avoid it and cover it up, not really talk about it but I thought I would share you guys, share with you guys what worked for me and what I did and the steps I took and the products I'm using. I'll go over different products as well. And also I wanted to point out that I wanted to film this video without makeup on. I don't have any makeup on. I just have um, just lip balm. But for the most part my skin has cleared up like 95% to what it was. I'll put pictures here of what my face I don't let me move over. I'll put pictures here of what my face looked like around February. So it was just broken out so bad around my mouth, all over my forehead, all over my cheeks. Um, and each day was a little different. Some days would be, it would be so bad. And then some days it would get better, but it was just consistently terrible. And so I wanted to wear no makeup today to show you guys like whatever I'm doing or the products I'm using. It worked for me and it's like a really good system. So maybe it'll work for you. So just a little history. I've always had acne, but I've never had like this kind of acne. Normally it's like spotted like somewhere on my nose or some on my chin, maybe a few on my forehead. But I would say starting around last November is when my acne kind of took off. It went to another level. It went from being like a few spotted breakouts to full on like sections of my face covered in acne. And like I said, my face has never been 100% clear, but this was like, like I couldn't walk out of the house. I just felt so insecure, so incredibly insecure. And so I tried everything probably around I remember just like Thanksgiving is when I really looked in the mirror and I was like wow like my face like I could not wear makeup like I was wearing makeup everywhere and that's not good for your skin either but my skin by itself like I just didn't want anyone to see me you know that's a big insecurity and I know a lot of people like if you have acne you want to like cover it up you don't want people to see you like that so so November, I started noticing, I was like, wow. And it just kind of got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. I tried everything. So my skin is really oily. So I try to avoid products that have extra oils in them. So I tried everything from Cetaphil to Proactive to Laura, uh, Laura Mercier stuff to Estee Lauder stuff to essential oils. Um, I tried natural things. I tried diets different diets like maybe my what I'm eating what I'm consuming is making my face break out and but really like over time I've not changed my diet but I just remember like around last fall it just really bit getting bad I started changing my pillowcases washing my sheets drinking so much water I it was like okay I tried everything when I tell you guys I tried everything I tried everything and then so november december january came around february came around and the pictures i just took are from february um that i showed like it's just the acne everywhere it just came to a point where well spring break came spring break is the first or second week of march it my mom was like we have got to do something and i was like i know like i know i we have like this has just become enough like enough is enough we need to figure something out so like i said i probably tried in the past six months, I probably tried seven to eight different face wash, Glam Glow, all kinds of stuff from Sephora, um, Mario Badescu. Um, I ordered stuff from this girl that sold skincare. Like, 
I tried it all. Like my next, like my next big step was gonna go to like, go get like facials, like hundreds and hundred dollars of facials. I thought my, I was just like, I'm doomed. I have no idea where this acne has come from. So all of that. So basically over spring break, I didn't have any plans for spring break this year. I didn't really want to go anywhere. I forgot the reason why, but I just was kind of like wanting to stay home and chill and like didn't really want to do anything for spring break. Get some things done around the house. And mom was like, why don't we just go to the dermatologist? Let's see what they have to say. I've never been to a dermatologist, and I will admit, I've kind of been against going to a dermatologist, and I'll explain in a minute. But I was really hesitant. Like, I, that was like my absolute last resort was going to go to a dermatologist. I'll explain in a minute. So she was like, we need to go to a dermatologist. Like, I think what we've tried obviously is not working. There's a bigger issue going on. We have no idea what, what, what what all was going on is going on. So we did some research and we found a phenomenal uh, dermatologist. She's a female and she's located in Ballantyne, North Carolina, which is like near Charlotte, south of Charlotte. And so we made an appointment in spring break. I went and so the reason I was so against going to a dermatologist is I've seen, and I'm not like trying to put anyone down when I say this. Like I'm not like trying to become like I don't want to sound insensitive when I say this, but, and it, I don't, I, I feel like I'm trying, trying to pick my words carefully. So my acne was bad and it was not going away. It was coming back rapid. Like one bump would go down and five more would come like bad. My, I knew my skin was getting bad. Like it was not getting better. It never got better with anything. It was just continually getting worse. So the reason I didn't want to go to a dermatologist is because I've seen people that have gone to dermatologists in the past and they have been prescribed um, acne medication or whatever the, whatever they were prescribed or given or recommended by a dermatologist. It made their skin, it made it get really bad before it got better. And I know like that's just the nature of the beast. I know sometimes you can't help that. Like I'm aware like Accutane, like I know that's like for severe acne. I've seen people on that and that, like if you have that, like if you're at that level of acne and you need to go on acne to Accutane, I'm not like downing it, but I just saw, like I know a few people that have gone on Accutane and their face was like severely dry. They're, they had to get, um, like you have to tell the government like you won't get pregnant while on. I mean, I don't plan to have a child, but it's like a serious medication and I just didn't want to, I like wanted to try everything humanly possible before going on Accutane. Like silly me didn't know that there was like other options besides Accutane. Um, so when I, when I think dermatologists think Accutane, like, and I'm not doubting it, but I just know it get your skin gets a lot worse as in like really dry and flaky and it gets worse before it gets better and some people that is like the best option and I know people like I've seen so many success stories but I just know it gets worse before it gets better and for me being in college this was before court this was before like quarantine and corona like I'm a very social butterfly and I, I like to like I knew I had a lot of sorority events coming up and socially going out and I like to put on makeup and I know sometimes with Accutane it's hard to put on makeup so I was just really, I was, and I know I know you guys are like oh she's so ignorant she does not know I know I know so I, I say all of that to that that's why I was like really tried everything before going to a dermatologist so I go to the dermatologist and I express my concerns I tell her like everything um like I even tried cutting out dairy, cutting out chocolate, citrus, which all those might be good things and might work for you, but nothing worked for me. So I went to the dermatologist and I told her like acne prone skin the past few months, probably six months, my skin has just gotten worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, to the point where it's just like, I can't not walk out of the house without a pile of makeup on my face. And I told her how I, and granted I've never been on an acne medication before. And she was so nice, listened to all of my concerns, saw my face. I went to the dermatologist with no makeup on and I was like petrified sitting in the lobby. I was like, oh my God. But anyways, it's okay. 
It's okay. That's why you're there. That's why you're at the dermatologist. So I told her all these things and we totally started over. She was like, so what is your acu like what's your morning and nighttime routine now? And at that point, I was just doing anything to see what would stick. I had no actual routine that I was sticking with. I was literally trying anything and anything, anything and everything people were recommending. Just anything I was trying. So, I really didn't have anything for her. She was like, okay, well, let's just start from scratch. We're going to create a total new routine, morning and night routine for you. Where you're going to try it for a few months, and then we're going to go from there. And we're at a few months, and my skin is like... I mean, there's a few, like, red spots, but my skin is so much better. Um, like, so much better. So, um, she recommended, first she was like, what face wash? She was like, we're going to give you, I'm going to give you a face wash. And this is the face wash she recommended. It's, la, it's from Target. Um, at my local Target, they didn't have it in store. They only sold it online. So, just skip the hassle and order this online. It's La Roche something Pose. La Roche Pose. La Roche Pose. I don't know. It's for normal to oily skin, purifying, foaming cleanser, uh, dermatologist tested, safe for sensitive skin, um, effectively cleanse and removes ex excess oil. And I've had this and I've been using it for the past few months. Like I said, you can get this at Target. And I've had this since March and I've used not quite half of a bottle yet. You can see like not really not quite half but almost half so this is amazing this i think works wonders for my skin my dermatologist also didn't really recommend makeup wipes she said just just to be safe she was like let's start like get rid of every or not get rid of but basically stop using everything you're using and let's just make our own routine so i stopped using makeup wipes and i'll just wash my face two to three times with this so the first time knocks off the makeup the second time knocks off the makeup and cleanses my skin and if i notice like a third time i'll go in with this in my clear sonic i don't go in the third time every night and every morning but i'd say twice a week three times a week i'll do three washes with this with the clear sonic and it will get rid of the oil like i i think and it works and i'm i can't say one specific, like I'm going to talk about all the products. I can't say this product works the best because I've been using them. I use them all at the exact same time and I've been using them all together. So this whole formula works wonders for my skin. So this is the face wash, maybe $20, $15 from Target. Um, I think they have a whole line, but like I said, I could not find this in store. I have to order it online. The so second would be moisturizer. Like, <laughs> poof, I was trying everything. Expensive stuff, cheap stuff, homemade stuff, like natural stuff. You name it, I was trying it. So, she recommended these two, two different moisturizers. I will try to find the links to everything below. These are the moisturizers, the AM and PM moisturizers that... They had selling in the dermatologist office. I'm not sure if it's just that dermatologist or if it's just like I'm. I don't know if you can buy it like at stores or online somewhere. I'm sure you can. I haven't tried to look. I I don't know. I just go to my dermatologist and buy it there. I haven't tried at my appointments. I just buy it. It lasts me a long time. So if I can find these, I'll find them in the description down below. Or if you can't buy them online, maybe just ask your dermatologist um, next time you go or if you make an appointment but it's the Elta MD skincare um, this is what they look like that is what they look like so the Elta MD skincare this is the AM moisturizer and then the PM one is the PM repairs and restores so these are great you need like the size of a dime you just need a little bit this is my second one so since March so five months and this is I just started my second bottle so I will say they are a little pricey it's like $50 a bottle but you would not need no more than like three of these a year three to four of these a year and honestly I would have paid anything and these are amazing you can just really feel this working I feel like in the past, I've used medicated moisturizers or like um, moisturizers that are supposed to fight acne and they burn your face. Like you could, like, <laughs> it burns and you're like, mm, this is burning my face. I feel like you're not supposed to feel that. And with these, you don't feel that. You don't feel any kind of burning, any kind of sensation. For me, I didn't. Now, if you do, go to your doctor and tell them you feel a burning sensation. But for me, 
I didn't feel this at all. It was very soothing, worked wonders, and I could tell immediately, like in two to three days, I could see a major difference in my face. She prescribed me the Acleaf, A-K-L-I-E-F, Acleaf Topical Use Cream, and this is what it looks like. And this stuff, okay, this is still my first bottle. When I went in March, this, and it's still like, there's a lot in it left. Not sure how much this was. Anyway, so this is just shipped to my house, so I'm not, insurance might cover it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for that. I have no idea. Um, this is if you notice, like, you wake up with a few blemishes, or as you're going to bed at night, you see a few blemishes. You, this is some strong stuff, Okay. This is some strong stuff. She said, start out slow. You use like a pea size amount, like a little, like this thing has a pump on it. You would do like one fourth of a pump, a little bitty bit. And at night, like if I saw like at my forehead, there were some bumps I saw coming up, just a thin layer of that. Or like if I, like right in here, I saw it thin layer and then go to sleep. She said you could use this like every other day or like twice a week to start out. And then as you felt more comfortable, build it up to every night. Well, when I started to use it every night, my skin became extremely dry. Here around my nose, and like for some reason, like right in here, like when I'd smile and move my mouth a lot, uh, my skin was already really dry. And when I put makeup on, like throughout the day, it would crack. And I would look at myself in the mirror, I was like, what is going on? And I would like scratch this and it would, my skin was just so dry. And I knew it was from this. I knew it was from this. So I use this about twice a week. You see such a difference in this. But like I said, if you use, she warned me, she was like, be gentle with this. Use a little bit. You do not need a lot of this. And I was like, okay. You know, I was like, my skin looks terrible. Let me just put on like half the bottle. I didn't do that, but like, you know, I was like, oh, my skin, I, like, I need a lot of this, but you really don't. A little goes a long way with this. Like I said, this is still my first bottle, and I, I mean, it's still, like, heavy. There's still, you can tell there's a good amount left in here. That is all of the products, and that's all of the stuff I'm going to recommend to you guys. There's, like, a whole other part to this. This was all outer stuff, and I don't, I, to be complete honest, I want to tell you everything that's going on with clearing my skin. But this is the only things I'm going to recommend to you guys. As I was at the dermatologist too, she said the, all these products will help fight the acne on the outside. Like this will all attack it as it starts to come up or if it even thinks about coming up. Each of these products will work together, work together well and fight off the acne. As a girl with very oily and very acne prone skin, that's not something I'm trying to hide that I have acne prone skin. And you shouldn't either. Like it's, we all like... It's just a way of, like, we can't help it. We don't wake up every morning praying that our skin's, you know, full of acne. We, we just, we work with it. We find products that work for us, and then we keep going. So, these four products are the products that have worked best for me and all that I'm going to recommend. Also, while I was there, she said, since I had never been on an acne medication before, she said, how about we start you on a very mild, very mild, low dosage, acne medication and when she said that I was like just what I thought was like I don't know it just freaked me out I was like because all I thought was Accutane I was like I don't want to go on an acne medication so she explained all of it and I'm not here to recommend a pill or drug to you I think that is something you need to consult your dermatologist for I'm not even going to tell you guys the name of it she showed me the chart and there's like 10 different acne medications and this is on the lowest of the acne medication. Um, she just recommended it. She said, this is going to help fight the acne on the out from the outside. But she said, this peel will help fight it from the inside out. I don't want to sit here and recommend a drug because I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know. I feel weird about recommending a drug that I'm using and it does work for me. But I think you should consult with your dermatologist on when it comes to acne medications. I will say, I guess maybe I'm saying this is don't be scared to take an acne medication. I take one pill a day. I don't know how long I've been on it since March and my skin has really like, 
it's really done a 180. It's really done a 180, let me tell you. So I can't make this video and not be completely honest. So that's why I wanted to tell you that I am taking an acne medication as well. But I will say that these products, like I have like nights that I do sleep in my makeup, which yeah, there are a few nights, we all do it. Don't act like you don't. But the nights that I do sleep in my makeup, I will still take the pill. But if I don't wash my face or use these products, like if I go sleep at someone's house or forget these, I can tell a major difference in my skin. These actually do work. The pill doesn't do all of it. There's no way it does all of it. Um, I will see acne come up all over my face if I skip a night or decide not to use this one night or just go straight to bed or whatever. It's an insecurity. No one wants to like talk about the stuff like growing on their face and like acne's like, ooh, like I would never come on here. And you can go back in my YouTube channel. Like there are videos, my videos where my face was highly broke out like very broke out and you won't have to scroll far on my uh videos to find a video of me with busted up face that's all for my video if you guys have if there's anything i didn't touch in this video or didn't um touch base on in this video that you would like to know more about please comment down below i'm a pretty open book i'll tell you anything i'm very honest if you did like today's video please give it a massive thumbs up if you're new here do not forget to subscribe i'd love for you to join me as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye